decade ago, the tri-state was encased in ice. We look back at the ice storm of 2009. And thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Brad Bird. And I'm Shelley Kirk. Tonight we are looking back 10 years to when inches of ice covered parts of the tri-state and hit western Kentucky particularly hard. Eyewitness News Mike Pickett tells us the stories of those who lived through it. Today in Central City, it was cloudy and rainy. The streets and power lines were clear. But on this day 10 years ago, Central City and much of the tri-state felt frozen solid. We wanted to forget it, <laughs> hoping it doesn't happen again. I remember driving back from Louisville that day and it was just awful. There was no place to buy gas and uh, I had a hard time getting home and I was worried if I had enough gas to get home. The storm dropped as much as two inches of ice in parts of western Kentucky, leaving 90% of southwest Kentucky without power, some for as long as three weeks. That forced lots of people to scramble to find ways to stay warm. We had to travel like 15, 20 miles to Orangeboro and to Beaver Dam and places like that. And you go to pick up uh, kerosene. My, my sister stayed at my house and she kept the wood burner going to keep stuff from freezing at the house. Uh, we set up our portable generator for a while at, at, uh, to keep a backup. The storm was responsible for 14 deaths across Kentucky and Missouri. Keith Putnam of the Muhlenberg County Emergency Management Agency says residents use their experiences in this storm to prepare for future ones. I, th I think it get a lot of people more prepared for something like that when it ha if it happens again. So uh, I, th I think it, it was a learning experience for everybody. I still think about it every once in a while, and I, I, I hope that for the next one we're better prepared. Uh, in Muhlenberg County, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.